Infocom is one of the strategic advantages in an economic competition. Our strong standings and international competitiveness ranking year after year reflect this. However, other countries are also recognising the strategic significance of Infocom. We cannot afford to slow down or we will be overtaken. The challenge now is to raise our Infocom competencies by several notches so as to stay ahead of competition. On June 2006, a new Infocom master plan powered by the IDA called Intelligent Nation 2015 was launched with a vision to build an intelligent nation, a global city. The targets set for in 2015 are for Singapore to become a global leader in harnessing Infocom so as to add value to the economy and society to double the value add of the Infocom industry to Singapore $26 billion. To generate a threefold increase in Infocom export revenue to Singapore $60 billion. To create 80,000 additional Infocom and Infocom related jobs. To aim for broadband usage in 90% of homes to achieve 100% computer ownership in homes with school-going children. Singapore Polytechnic recognises the importance of Infocom manpower training for the next generation. In line with the IN 2015 Master Plan, the Diploma in Information Communication Technology, or DICT, was revamped in 2005 to include Infocom training in potential growth areas of the Infocom industry. You can choose between two options in your second year of the course. Either the Broadband and Security Services option or the Web Technology and Services option. The Broadband and Security Services or BSS option allows students to acquire knowledge and practical skills in broadband networks, wireless and mobile networks and network security. With broadband networks, digital entertainment such as internet gaming, IPTV and many more related services are possible. In the network security, you will learn how to protect the network from hackers. In his budget speech on February 2006, Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong announced that Singapore would develop a new national broadband network that would be significantly faster than the current. The Web Technology and Services, or WTS, option trains students to leverage on internet and related technologies to bring interactive e-services and digital contents to end users. Students will learn to be the architect and developer of web services systems that connect businesses and people seamlessly across the internet. On 3rd of March 2006, Dr. Lee Boon Yang announced that IDA will be offering scholarships worth Singapore $30 million to boost the strength of Singapore's skilled Infocom manpower to compete in the vibrant Infocom industry. The ICT course kept me abreast with the latest technological concept. Modules like broadband communications and network protocol offered me hands-on experience and network basics to undertake the challenging task at workplace. The team of dedicated lecturers and module coordinators who constantly review the modules and offer the best of the modules to the students makes the course extremely exciting and interesting to learn. For all of you out there, Seeking for an exciting venture to learn new things, Diploma in Info Communication Technology is definitely the right choice. Join the Diploma in Infocom Technology now! now.